Hey everybody, Ryan with Ryan Industrial. Doing a quick how-to video today. I have to do a, a repair on a trailer here. Um, as you can see, the uh, shackle broke here. And um, it's just all messed up, so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, replace all these components here. Um, do a quick uh, low down on definition. This is called the equalizer, the centerpiece here. Shackle, shackle bolt. And then inside the leaf spring, as well as the uh, equalizer, uh, something called the bushing. Here's the new parts. Uh, there's that bushing you can see. Uh, when you go ahead and replace the uh, equalizer, uh, I'm going to do it because it, at this point it probably is uh, bent and uh, it's not going to track properly. So um, if your shackles here, as you can tell, they, they get worn out, um, the bolts um, just eventually over time wearing out so um, when you go ahead and replace this I, I recommend doing both sides if your other side looks okay then uh, you can go ahead and just do one if that's what you can afford but uh, these components are pretty reasonably priced and then uh, on uh, identifying these components what you need to do when you go to the parts store um, this one has a the part number on it EQE1 um, if they don't go off of that then what you do is you take a reading or measurement with your tape measure um, center to center and this is called a Y style equalizer and then you also have like this ones that are just straight across so a wire is straight and then with the uh, shackles you do the same center to center uh, these are three inch uh, very common is two and a half and three inch so um, and then go ahead and, and get new uh, shackle bolts and uh, those are uh, lock nuts that are on there so I'm gonna go ahead and jack this thing up and We'll tear into this and get this replaced. All right, well, the next thing you want to do is you want to jack up the uh, trailer till the wheels are off the ground. This one is not going to be able to really get off the ground because of the way the uh, shackle is broken, uh, the leaf spring will just sort of go with it. So you do this so that way you can use your floor jack. And then you can get underneath the axle and go ahead and uh, jack it up and then that way you can get the wheel off but do not jack up your trailers using the um, axle beam across it will bend um, use the uh, framing of the trailer to uh, support that so I'm gonna go ahead and jack up this axle a little bit just to get the wheel off the ground and take these tires off and we can start tearing into these uh, shackles okay so as you can see I got the trailer jacked up here I've got the jack supporting the axle so that way it's um, movable. That way I can lower and lift to uh, put these uh, shackles on. These bolts are welded. I'm finding that a lot lately on uh, a lot of, you know, trailer companies are welding them on there just so that way they don't come across, you know, come off. I prefer to, to cut them off with a cutting wheel um, than torching them. So um, to each their own, whatever you want to do. If you want to use a cut off wheel or a torch, it's, it's your go just be careful not to damage um, this piece here that holds the uh, equalizer because that's welded to the frame of the trailer these parts here if you torch these you know just make sure you don't damage the leaf spring and uh, if you do use a torch you'll definitely have to uh, replace that bushing in there which you're gonna I recommend you do anyway but um, I'll go ahead and cut these off and be right back Alright, we've got all this part, and here's those uh, bushings. As you can see, this thing is just about done. Oh, it is done. And anytime you got metal on metal, it's just going to wear the, uh, the shackle bolt. See that? So, take out that bushing, slide in the new guy, just like that, and you're good to go. The new equalizer has it in. Oh, yeah. If you think sparks on the grinder don't get hot, look at what that did to my brand new gloves. Whew, didn't burn my hand though, so we're good. Um, so if these are a pain in the butt, you can use a pair of, you know, needle nose or just cut it out if it's completely missing and you got the best of those worlds. I'm using the bolt here to try to pry this thing out. Alright, I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers, but 
it's working its way out. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together and uh, I'll be right back. All right, one quick note. Um, when you go ahead and put this back together, um, the leaf spring that or the axle you don't have supported by the jack, put those links in first because at that point this doesn't line up. So all you have to do is just lower the jack a little bit. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. And then that way you can get it just lined up. Still going. I got the jack going real slow doing this one-handed, but slowly lower it down until uh, that lines up and then bolt that, then get that bolt in. So. All right, and that's it, we're done. Uh, one thing, if you are using an air gun, um, go ahead and grind it down until it goes all the way down. And then I like to back this off a quarter turn. Remember, this is a pivoting joint, so it's gotta have some play, but you don't want necessarily want it too loose. So I just back it off a quarter, um, maybe even a half, depending on uh, the scenario. And then that way it will flex and move and all that good stuff. And that's it, so we're ready to put the wheels back on um, oh one thing look at this is the equalizer I went ahead and replaced it uh, just because I know this trailer is going on uh, a long haul out of state and uh, you know for $15 I wanted to make sure um, just to replace all the components the leaf springs the u-bolts and everything else looked okay so um, you couldn't see that but look at that so it was it was off it would be sitting in there rattling around, which is um, the reason you need that bushing. So make sure to replace those bushings. And uh, they're cheap, so they're worth it. But uh, that's it. So I hope that helps. And uh, thanks for taking time to watch my videos. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Ryan with Ryan Destrial. Peace.